We face the fight of our lives. Stand up and fight. Stand up and fight. Say it again. Stand up and fight. Very good, very powerful. We are the party and country that stood up and fought Nazis and fascists. Don't cut to her, cut to someone else. No, not Gove, he looks like a burst stomach. Get back to Penny. We are the party and country that stood up for democracy. No, democracy is dodgy ground, Penny, you know, given that our last two prime ministers got into office because they won some sort of Tory raffle. Now, conference, I happen to know. Where are you going? Don't leave the podium. You, you, you're not talented enough to leave the podium. Honestly, she spends one day walking around a church carrying a big sword whilst dressed like a bottle of posh hand soap and she thinks she's Wolf of Wall Street. So if you remember nothing else... Everyone's forgotten everything already, so... Remember this. Don't say stand up and fight. Stand up and fight. Stop saying stand up and fight. Stand up and fight for your communities. Against who? Godzilla? The 50-foot woman? I mean, what does any of this mean? Because when you stand up and fight... Yes, go on. The person beside you stands up and fights. Not really, it depends on the situation and you know whether And they... when our party stands up and fights. An angel gets its wings, I The nation stands up and fights. No, it doesn't. It's never done that. And right now this nation would rather vote for a wasp's nest in a pit bull's mouth than vote for the Conservative Party again. And when our nation stands up and fights... Let me guess, other nations stand up and fight. Other nations stand up and fight. This isn't even Tory rhetoric right now. This is just a spilled bag of Scrabble tiles falling out of your stupid mouth. And they stand up and fight for the things upon which the entire progress of humanity depends. What things? Freedom. Do you see why I don't want to do this character anymore?